going on, everybody? Oh, it is, uh, what is today? 23rd. Yeah. February 23rd is Saturday. It is, uh, I'm on East Coast time right now. Let's see, it is, uh, 4 o'clock.
all my messages said it was just a pickup number and that he was looking for like a point two or some shit for the other truck. I don't know. But he said, well, I'll just give you the 7 o'clock in the morning one. I was like, okay, that'll work. It was a 7 and a 10. <clears throat> so I was like, yeah, I'll take the 7 because the earlier I get there and unload it, you know, the faster I get a load and get out. You know, I want to get there at 10 o'clock and not get unloaded until fucking noon. Tire and it blew out on the 
sidewall, so it was the inner tire on the trailer on the inside of the tire. It was two, two blowouts. One was on the sidewall, and one was right there where the kind of like where the tread stops and the sidewall begins. And it was, you could just tell it was an old crusty old fucking tire. Well, he calls me up immediately, you know, and he was like, hey, yeah, blah, blah. You know, George is the owner. He makes all the final decisions and uh, uh, he's going to argue the fact that you aren't airing your tires up and you're running on low and it blew the sidewall out. And I'm like, that's fucking bullshit, man. For one, I just picked the fucking trailer up. For two, I've got all the fucking paperwork since I go to fucking tire pass all the fucking time. So how the fuck is, how the hell is he just going to assume that and take it out of my fucking check and not even fucking have the decency to call me and talk to me about it? He's just got no, that's what he did. So we're going to, he's paying for the tire. He was like, well, you can call him up. I said, man, I ain't talking to that motherfucker. I'll get fired. Y'all, he ain't going to fire you. I said, well, I ain't calling this fucking ass. I ain't got nothing to say to that little sorry ass son of a bitch. So he said he'd call him in the morning. So he called him the next morning. And uh, I texted my driver manager and was like, hey, man, did you, you talk to George about my money? So he called me back up and said, uh, he said, well, that... I talked to George about it, and uh, he's going to go ahead and put the, the money back on your fuel car. And I was like, okay, well, that's good. And then he started talking about, but if it happens again, this is like a free pass. So if it happens again, he's going to charge you. And I'm like, wait a minute. How the fuck does that work, dude? I'm not an owner-operator. You know, even if I have all the fucking paperwork saying that I air up my tires, if one should blow out, he's just going to automatically think, oh, he didn't. Do, he, he's not checking his air pressure, so let's charge him. I, and I, I, I argued the fact with the driver manager, too. I was like, no, when, when's it going to fucking stop? You know what I mean? When is it going to stop? He was like, what are you talking about? I was like, so if I blow a radiator hose, he's going to automatically assume and not even fucking me just automatically assume I didn't do my pre-trip inspection. Oh no no that's not that's not how that works. I said well it works that way for a fucking tire why wouldn't it work that way for anything else? Right? Right? Am I right or am I wrong? What the fuck? Yeah I was fucking livid dude. I was so fucking pissed. I'm still pissed about it. It's just ridiculous. You know, I just got that money back last night was well payday was yesterday. And I told that motherfucker, I said, man, I need my fucking money now. Not next, Katie, now. You know, I earned that fucking money. I ain't paying for your fucking tire. I said, if you're going to fucking charge me for the tire, give me the fucking receipt so I can claim it on my fucking taxes, dickhead. And if I, when I quit, I'm taking that motherfucker with me. And if you won't let me take it with me, I'll stab a fucking knife in that motherfucker. You ain't using it. It's mine. I paid for it, motherfucker. I was mad. I'm surprised I didn't get fired. <laughs> I was so fucking hot. I was like, damn, man, this is bullshit. I always get myself in these fucked up bullshit goddamn companies. It pissed me off, man. That's why I'm looking into fucking getting my own truck. Fuck this shit. So, yeah, it, it's been a ride so far, man. It, you know, when I got on with this company, it was great. I mean... The dispatch is still nice to me. Don't get me wrong. My driver manager is awesome. There's some other people there that are awesome. But George, the owner, he's a fucking prick. I could choke that motherfucker and watch his eyes pop out and fucking be loving it because he's a fucking asshole. I hate that son of a bitch. I'm just been. Y'all, you're gonna... You're my... You're my therapist. <laughs> yeah, he pisses me off, man. And uh, I never told you guys when um, I was loading out of Chico, California. I loaded up those concrete blocks. It's in one of the videos. Uh, well, there was there was scale. You're supposed to see the company policy is I think anything over. 
think it's 35,000 pounds or something like that, or 38, I, I don't know. You're supposed to go find the nearest scale and scale out. Well, I had this in my mind, but I wasn't even thinking about it. Because um, I loaded out of a parking lot in Chico, South, or Chico, Chico, South Carolina, Chico, California, by side of Walgreens. And as soon as they loaded it up, man, that was it. They fucking took off the rain suits and they fucking went back. I think uh, I delivered it in Pennsylvania or some shit. I can't remember where the fuck I went. But when I delivered there, the same guys were there to unload me. So they fucking took off. So they had a job there in California and they fucking just went back home. So my thinking was, well, fuck, if I'm, all, if I'm heavy, I mean, I, ain't, I can't come back to the site. There ain't nobody here to fucking rearrange the load. So I just kept going. And uh, also, what I had in my mind is, is uh, I had to go up Donner's Pass. That's another video of Donner's Pass. Um, it's a juicy chew, man. Woo! That motherfucker's spitting in it. But, um, so, and, and there was a huge fucking winter storm getting ready to hit. So, I was like pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And I got to that rest area and I ran out of hours. And then, uh, you know, one thing led to another. But anyways, I made it over the mountain. And the next scale past the mountain, I hit at a truck stop. And that's when I was fucking overweight on my drives. And so that's when I hired, they told me to go to a forklift company, hire these people to rearrange the load. So I did. And um, they called, they paid for it. Well, they took it out of my fucking check. So I called up. I was like, what the fuck? Why are you... I, why am I paying for you guys to move your fucking load around? Well, Georgia's philosophy was that it's company policy, a certain amount of weight, and all that shit, you're supposed to weigh out. So his 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 thinking was, I'm just going to have... I'm just going to charge you for it to show you a lesson. And I kind of get it on that one. I do. You know, I paid $105 and learn. I don't give a fuck what the weight is now. I fucking go way out and I show a weight ticket. So, that's twice. That one was my fault. If you want to look, I mean, there's so many different ways you can look at that situation there. But, after he said what he said, I was like, you know what? You're right. I should have weighed out. I did get lucky. I didn't go through any scales. I didn't get pulled in. If I did, I'd have been fucked. I'd have got points. The company would have got points. I get it. Lesson learned. And uh, so, like I said, there's so many ways you can look at that one. It was company policy, but still, you know, I kind of brushed that one off. But now it seems to be like a, a thing with him. <clears throat> and my driver manager says that he goes through this with drivers every fucking Friday. They're calling up. Why is he taking this out? Why is he taking that out? And to be honest with you, they're fucking fucking themselves because they're losing drivers left and right because George is one greedy son of a bitch. You know, he's saying, oh, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. How do you know what I'm not doing? Are you fucking here? No. He don't even have the decency to call you up and ask you questions about it or anything. He just says, yep, you're not doing that, so you're paying for it. It doesn't fucking work that way. But, yeah, I, man, I tell you what, I, I'm still kind of livid about it. You know, it's just, it's bullshit. Even though I got my money back, it's the principle of the fact. And just like I was telling my driver manager, when is it going to stop? That means everything. You know, that that to, to me in my head, and I'm pretty sure anybody else would be like, that could be anything. Because if he's just going to assume and not even give you the common courtesy to call you and talk to you about it, he's just going to automatically say, yeah, that's what you did. Take it out of your chip. That's kind of fucked up. So, yeah, uh, things are kind of dicey right now here. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen anymore. I know I'm not really pleased with this company anymore, especially that. I know I can't comfortably stay and say I can earn a good living here if I don't know what's going to fucking be taken out of my check because some kind of maintenance has got to be done and I, it might, I might be blamed for it, you know, so 
flip it around and let you guys watch the drive. I'll probably put it in fast motion a little bit so the video will not too long. It's already 20 fucking minutes, guys. Goddamn. Well, I feel better. <laughs> oh, one more thing before I go. Right now, we're in a 20 mile an hour wind guys. And in my next video, I think I'll show you that I have gotten um, all my devices connected to this phone because I pay extra now for my, uh, for like a mobile hotspot. So I got my GPS hooked up to it so I can look at the weather, the weather at the destination, wind speed, temperature, um, all that shit. And then I got my uh, tablet hooked up as well for a trucker's path. We'll get into that later. Truck is back. It's pretty awesome. It's a. I don't use it for route purposes, but I use it for other purposes. So we'll get into that later and uh, enjoy the ride.